clients appreciate and learn to become a better leader so you can educate, equip, encourage, engage, entertain, empower, exemplify and escort to success your teammates. Thank you so much. Okay, Val. Okay, now, most of the time, we as leaders or managers, we just focus here, all right? When they come short of their expectations, when they underperform or worse, non-perform, right? We always resort to this right away, immediately, right? Ah, send them to training. Okay, are there public training programs out there? Come on, send them to seminars, right? Uh, and management success to develop the, the, and sustain high-performing employees who care for the company and their co-employees as much as they care for themselves. Thank you so much, sir. Your name is? John. John from? From City Stores. Thank you, John, from City Stores. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's uh, dissect this early, our objectives. Take a look. Know, analyze what? Analyze your people's needs. So let me show you the rest of them. These are the domains of a holistic... Oh, by the way, guys, maybe you're wondering where are your handouts? Okay, they are actually on their way. Rest assured that what you see in the handout, okay, are the same as what you will see here. So I think it's better if you guys would just pay attention to how handsome your training facilitator is, right? And then, uh, don't worry, you're gonna get your hand out later on. Uh, you can't do anything about that. I'm holding the mic, so I say what I say, right? Okay, I'm just kidding. So, domains of the holistic employee development. Okay, so this is what we know, or not what we know, but this is always what we look into all the time, right? Knowledge, skills, attitude. But these are factors internal to a person. When your people don't perform, okay? Ah, they're coming short of their targets. Ah, they're coming short of their metrics. Their performance scorecard doesn't look attractive. Ah, it's always about this. You're missing the entire picture, okay? When have you ever try to look into these things, okay? Factors external to a person. Number one, management. Look around. Is the real reason why this person is not performing or underperforming because of knowledge, skills, or attitude? Or the quality of management around the person? What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I've got to be honest. Your quality as supervisors and managers right do you really lead do you really manage or do you only lead but don't manage or do you only manage but don't lead or maybe you're doing both but what you're doing is not enough you said you've been doing your best but perhaps your best is not enough are you with me right so management take a look at the environment is the environment supportive of whatever their source of motivation and inspiration are Right? Our, when you take a look at your people, every day, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., be observant. Leaders are expected to be observant. Like, I'm observing you right now. I'm sizing you up. Are these people happy to be here? Or are they happy to be here because they're not there? <laughs> right? So, they're using training as a temporary escape from the pressure of work. Where are you there? Are you happy to be here because you're learning new things? Or are you happy to be here because you're not there at the workplace? Yes, it's a Friday and we're away from work. <laughs> right? We won't see the bad boss. <laughs> okay? This is our temporary escape from, of course, our teammates, our subordinates, our employees. So take a look at your environment. The environment doesn't just talk about the physical features of the environment. Right? Later on, I'm going to show you a video why... Uh, Everyone here knows Google, right? Google, one of the richest companies. Google doesn't come out of the top one to five slots as the world's best employers. And I'll show you why. They're always one of the best employers in the world. Not just in the US, huh? in the world. Okay? Because of the kind of environment they establish and promote. Next, motivation. Let me ask you this question, and please be honest, all right? Do you really know your employees? I'm sorry. 
Do you really know about your employees or do you just know them? What's the difference between the two? Can somebody figure out? Knowing your employees versus knowing about them. Who can figure that out? Uh, it sounds the same. The only difference is the addition of about. Anyone? When you know your employees, okay, like Kim here, all right? I know